pump, put a pump, 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 pump. What is up, guys? Been here in a long time, but we're here. Who are my friend? Hey. It's one of my dudes right here. Call him Mantequilla. <laughs> that means. <laughs> that means butter in Spanish. <laughs> This is my other dude right here. Yeah. What is that? Emmanuel Dabner. Pito. Anyways, uh, we got a big update uh, going on today. Hopefully we can get it done. If not, then I guess we could do another day. But here, it's pretty much what we're doing. All right, so from drums, coilovers D2. From drums all the way to rear disc conversion. Now, I'll leave the description of what I'm using and what it needs so you can do it as well if you have drums in the back of your Nissan Sentra. And uh, so you can do so, you do it too. So, stay tuned. That so, we're doing the rear disc conversion. Uh, we also got a few more parts came in, but we got the ones for the front as well. A uh, new fuel pump. Uh, this brand supposedly is the, uh, it's pretty much like a displacement for a well bro. So, for a 255. So we'll see how it works. It's way cheaper. So, I like it. <laughs> It's my price, just for now. And then here, I got the fuel pressure regulator that I'm gonna be putting, that I'm gonna be putting right, right here. It does have oil in it, pretty good. And uh, yeah. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna put this on today, but it will be on. Because I'm going to turbo. Make sure everything is put on there. And a uh, radiator. Got a radiator. It does bring the uh, fan and everything already connected. We'll see how that blows later on. And uh, yeah, those are a few parts that we're going to try to put on today. If not, then another video but besides that stay tuned hopefully you can see a disc conversion right here so. all right so this was a freaking mission to take out that's why i like to mess with drums um out with the old in with the new uh for this you probably have to change first of all your brake cable then your brake hose because they're not the same so uh yeah besides that you gotta take the uh suspension off control arms and wrap the name of this that too so hopefully we can start putting the other one as soon as possible hopefully everything goes in smoothly i'll let you know about the process all right so update it's good feels kind of sturdy I'm not really liking is that I had to use the P10 um, fuel line, uh, not fuel, brake line, a uh, brake hose, and it's still a bit longer. So I had to zip tie it right there at the corner. But uh, besides that, mount it well. Everything is in there. So pretty much what you got to do is uh, take two bolts from the suspension, control arms. So very really long one from here to the other side. And then that's the other bolt from the other side, this one. And then get the, uh, see what I can get it. This one right here from the side arm, I wanna say. I don't know the name of it, so, but yeah. And after that, then you can put this one in there and proceed the steps again. But besides that, everything looks pretty good. Hopefully it don't fail. I do not have a emergency brake line. So 
I'll have to take this one out and leave it without that and park it in first gear every time. Hopefully I don't forget and the car rolls anywhere that he wants to go. So this is an update. I know I should have been showing you step by step and showing you in the video how to do it. But to be honest, I don't have time. Sunday, I work tomorrow, the only day off, and I have to do this fast. If you have any questions, in the bottom of the comments, and I will tell you how to do it. But uh, yeah, this is what's coming up. Hopefully I can put the wheels back on and see how it looks. And hopefully I can change my SCR wheels and put some other rims in there. So that can, you can see that nice looking stuff in there. All right, so let's put the wheel back on, jump to the next one. <laughs> you can't see much, that's why I want to get a new, uh, new wheels. But, this side over here, we got a big trouble. This line right here doesn't want to break loose and it's strict. Now, this bolt, I think most of these B13s, they get seized. So, doesn't want to come out at all. Everything else is loose. Having some trouble and difficulties on this. Um, yeah. I'll keep you guys posted in a second. All right, so after a few hours hitting it, my dad came through and had to sick out. Bushing from one side. So many years been seized in there. So yeah. This is out. So we can try to see what we can do for this right here. See what we can do for that. And put the other one in. And then bleed out all four. And we should be good. I already did the front while they were doing this one. I like the wheels because you can't see nothing in it, but they're there. I gotta do one more side, the other side. I gotta do this side, and we should be met. I'm ready to go. Yeah. You guys keep up there. Alright, so update. Uh, the idea didn't work. Reason why. This little guy right here messed up when we were taking it out from the original one. And I didn't want to come out, so we had to yank it out, drill it, and all that shit. But it's still leaking now that we're doing the whole. Doing the whole. What's that you said? Bleeder valve? We're bleeding the valve, so. Yeah. We're bleeding the valves. So that's done, but we gotta get new calipers. And while I'm at it, so might as well get braided lines. Everything nice and tight. This is the side that was giving us trouble. It's on as well. But might as well get the two calipers brand new. So front ones are in. And the other one from this side in as well but for now can't do anything so stay tuned next episode probably here in a few days thanks to the uber driver <laughs> thank you guys no problem no problem so yeah stay tuned for episode number two Peace.